Hey all, Matt here with Bobcat Bonsai, and today we're going to do some more work on this little boxwood right here. So I have some some good plans on it for this one. I know I just recently did a boxwood, but when I bought my um, what was it? I think it was like a two and a half gallon pot that had the one boxwood in that I bought, and it ended up having four, so I divided them up except for two. So there's still another pot that has two of them, but those roots were too tight. I could not take them apart this time of year. So spring, I will take those ones apart. But for now, we're going to work on this one, which was split off. And I have some great plans for it. And let me get you set up and we'll get to it. All right. So first off, let's try and find ourselves something to give us a better angle here. So my thought is I can either use this as my new main leader or I can use, well I guess I'd be, well no this was a side branch I believe, let's look at it from this side. Or I could use this as my new main leader. Um, I'm not really going to trim this at all, I'm going to let it just keep going so that it gets, um, it gets some girth down lower, but it's long, so don't mind this piece that when it disappears up into the air, we're not even gonna pay attention to this one anymore. So we have the option of this one as a new main leader, or this one as a new main leader. Um, let me get over here with you here. I'm looking here. I feel like we're really climbing up high to hit this one the roots really are there so the roots are exactly where the top of this is at sorry the ground has already begun to freeze over because we had this really bad cold front come in and normally normally we get it like the first two weeks in november and then it hits back up into the 60s 70s again for a while but we're four days away from thanksgiving in america so it's the end of November and it's cold which is absolutely crazy it's never cold this long here but we just went on a crazy tie rant there so I'm gonna leave these two little branches alone down here just in case I try to decide to change pads and bring it down smaller but I think what I'm gonna end up going with here is this will be the new main leader so I want to get that set at a little bit of an angle so I can get a better look at it and all my rocks are outside in the cold so let me see if I have something real quick to get it propped up and I'll be back with you all right so in an attempt to save you guys a little bit of time and listening to me talk here um, I got it at its angle and I also wired up this branch here so we can see it's coming out and I want it to just come down a little bit more here So, it's not really coming down as far as I want it to. So, I'm going to put a little hole inside of my pot there. Just grab myself up a little piece of scrap wire here. And all I'm going to do at this point is just come over top wrap it back on itself and try and come back through the hole I just made sorry my fingers are pretty cold today um probably not ideal weather for me to even be out here doing much of anything so all I'm gonna do is just bring this down put in the flex that I wanted and then secure it like that all right so now we have it we brought it down just to give it a little bit more of an angle there
And then from here, I just want it to more or less just go back upright. Just a little bit more upright here. So that little guy's gonna fight me just a hair here. So as of right now, with that one fighting me, let's take a look at this back branch right here. So this, at some point, turned into the leader. And I'm not exactly sure when it did. Sorry, I'm just pulling some of that off because I'm gonna end up cutting this whole branch off right here. So let's take a big cut. And then let me get you in a little bit closer here. And we're gonna do a little bit of a cleanup. Sorry for that squeaking. Let me see if I can get any better on this angle here. Okay, I'm gonna grab my concave cutters out and just take just a little bit out of there. And it looks like I actually nipped back through here, which is okay because I want to get rid of that one as well. So let me just clean up one last spot here in the middle that I just made. And then I'll hit that up with some prune pruning sealer here in a second so now let me bring you back up bring this little guy back around so we have the movement coming up and going over we're going to let these two grow and develop this is going to be we're going to try and make this the first branch so I'm gonna have to get and really pull on that one to get it to go back in that direction here. It may not even be able to be the first branch. We'll have to see what comes from it. Thinking now, <laughs> that last little branch that I just cut off, I should have left alone because it was right here and I could have literally made that the first branch. But, oh well. It's too late now, it's gone. And now we have to figure out our next step from there. So, maybe we'll just do something crazy here. Well, crazy for me, I normally don't do it. But maybe we leave it as a front. And I make it a twin trunk instead. So, let me wire up and get this one wired. And I'll be right back with you to get into those bends. Alright. Sorry, my nose is running out here a little bit. So, it's all wired up now. Um, so with this branch, I'm just going to try and take it back a little bit. And that actually held really good. And then I'm going to bring it. So now that's back, I want to bring it down from here. And then take it back up. Right in here and just kind of give it like a little bit of a twin, twin trunk look from there um, let me get a hold of this here and I want to twist it to make these two branches rotate just a little bit more so let's grab twist all right so we got a little bit more out of that there so now we have these two branches here. I broke a few leaves. No surprise there, I was a little bit rough. And then I'm just gonna twist this to just get 
a little bit more of a look here and then we've got two up here um this one's got a few branches i think i actually might just bring that one back in now after that hook but it doesn't seem like it wants to do that for me so we're just going to do what we did and pack another hole here grab some more of my happy little green wire and all I'm going to do here twist it I'm actually going to pop it into the piece of wire that we already have Sorry, I'm just trying to get it back through here again. All right, so now that we're back inside there, I'm just gonna pull back in this direction here. And we'll call it an assisted wire wiring job. I wired it and now I'm using the wire that's there to assist it back into place. So, this is what we've got for now. Um, we'll see how it goes, or how it develops itself come springtime. Hopefully, it holds the shape that I put it in, and the wood is not so hard that it just bounces right back as soon as I unwire it all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps me out. As well as if you can subscribe to my channel, that also helps me out greatly. Um, I really hope you enjoy my content and if you have ideas for what you would like to see as far as my content goes Go ahead and leave it in the comments below and I'll do my best to Get to everyone's ideas as well as try to accomplish what I want to accomplish for my channel um, If you do enjoy my content though hit the bell notification so you get notified every time I release a new video. Thank you